Shalom. All praises unto Yahweh, Bashmi, Abushai, Basham, Rakakatash, double ones unto the elder apostles of great Muslim, the elder son down, Shalom, Jesusinsi Akim, with the Soya of Yahweh, Bashmi, Abushai, has scattered us in these last days as a righteous rem- small remnant out of the 12 tribes and the nation of Asharala, which are so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. Okay, is been brought back to the fold, the elect. Okay, not the whole nation is gonna make it, and in the meantime, through much tribulation, shall we make it into the kingdom? Okay, this is a Proverbs 13, verse 12 says, Hope deferred maketh the heart sick, but when the desire cometh, it is a, it is a tree of life. Uh, because we, because right here we have no continuing season. Okay. This current establishment that we have right now, where we have these heathens ruling over themselves and oppressing and being oppressed, okay, as Israelites by these fucking heathens, mainly the main uh, head of the serpent, being Esau, Edom, the so called white man, as we know him rel- uh, relatively today. That's the problem, okay, that is a problem. Uh, and right now we're sick, okay, henceforth, well. We, we're going straight, okay, to the Most High through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah. He is the mediator. Uh, henceforth, the Comforter has come. But Harakakadash, now, now we got the, the understanding, okay, we got the right avenue, okay, wh- wh- whereby we we are able uh, to, to return unto the Most High, the Almighty Yahweh Shai. And it's not an easy road. Uh, it's a straight narrow path okay of which few there be that find it okay this is a proverbs 13 verse 12 says hope deferred maketh the heart sick it seems you know carnally at times when you're gonna start catching hell it may seem like this whole thing is is uh, is, uh the time is on uh, is in slow motion uh, it may seem like you know for a period of time things are not moving quick enough but guess what the time that Yahweh Masha has set up, okay, is quite rather different, okay, from ours. As it says, you know what, let me just get this. This is the book of Micah. Seven, I believe. This is the book of Micah. All right, the seventh chapter. Because what we hope for and we trust in it, it may seem like it's tearing, like it says in Habakkuk, the second chapter. Though it tarry, wait for it, it shall surely come, it shall surely what it, it will speak at the end. These prophecies are speaking right now, it's right now in 2018, the year of prophecy. Okay, the, uh, the word has been preached, uh, with us whoever we've been scattered. Uh, more and more and more Is- Israelites are waking up to who, uh, to who we are. Uh, the elect, that, that's uh, mainly what, what is the main uh, focus, okay. Because Yahweh Shai is coming back to to what to to to, uh, to deliver his elect from the four winds. This is a book of Micah seven. <clears throat> oh, this is a book of Micah seven. The seven says, "Therefore will I look unto the Lord Yahweh Bashim Shai. I will wait for the power of my salvation. My power will hear me." Because uh, is what he is uh, his is uh, these 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 epistles okay these videos going out there on how is in the how is in the edges our prayers our fasting okay calling upon the name of Yahweh Shemashah the only names as it says in Acts four and seventeen there's none other name given among men whereby we must be saved and that's those names is what Yahweh Bashim Yahushai Bashim Rakakatash okay in the ancient uh, Hebrew. All right, the last one, Kadash. All right, it says, therefore, while I look unto the Lord, Yahweh, I will wait for the power of my salvation. My power will hear me. Okay. Okay. Let me jump down. It says, uh, says 79, like I, like I open up of uh, Proverbs uh, 13, verse 12, says, hope uh, uh, deferred maketh the heart sick. Okay. That's why it goes back to the book of Ezekiel. All right. The bitterness is that it's going to start soon enough to have start uh, settling in. Okay, we must take the good and the bad from Yahweh Shmuel Shah. Okay, this is a Micah seven and nine says, "I will bear the indignation of the Lord Yahweh Shmuel Shah, because I have sinned against Him until He plead my cause. 
or in the cause of Yahab Hashim, or it's like in the cause of us, okay, of us transgressing is being ple is being played right now, okay. It says and execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Because now we've been brought to the light right now, okay. What does it say in Isaiah? It says, well, it says, henceforth I bring my righteousness near unto thee. It shall no longer be far off. I'm going to redeem you and save you, O Jacob. All right. It says, I will bear the indignation of the Lord. His righteous uh, indignation, his righteous anger. These curses being sold unto the nations. Uh, uh, you ben Benjamin, uh, Benjamin, okay, Levi and, uh, <coughs> and Judah being sold off from, from the interiors of Africa, being sold off, being scattered. Okay, the same thing that has been felt in the Northern Kingdom, being sold in, in, into in, into uh, into Europe, uh, we've been scattered, being tossed to and fro. That's the part of the indignation of Yahweh Pashmasha for 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 going astray from the from the from the, the covenant and an oath that we took. Okay, as it says in Deuteronomy 28 and 15, it says, "The time will come if we will not obey to hearken unto all these laws, statutes, and commandments, to to obey them and to keep them." These are the curses, and we sh we, know we surely went through all of them, and still going, uh, still going through them. But guess what? They're being lifted off us, okay? Because we're heading straight into the kingdom. So, so what? It may seem like uh, it's what is is uh is is what is uh is tearing, but it's not. Uh, it says that an execute judgment for me, he will bring me forth to the light, and I shall behold his righteousness. Uh, it says. All right, let me just go to the another precept. I believe is uh, uh, First Peter's, okay, because we're not in control of the time right now. Only Yahweh Hashem is in control of it. All right. In fact, before I go there, let me go back to Proverbs. Okay, this is uh, Proverbs thirteen. All right, this uh, so uh, the book of Proverbs chapter thirteen. Verse twelve says, "Hope deferred maketh the heart a sick, but when he, but when the desire cometh, it is a tree of life, and that desire is what is the kingdom of heaven. That's the main desire that we're desiring right now. Okay. The heart is sick right now. Okay. Ecclesiastes was seven and seven it says, what says surely, okay, oppression maketh the wise man mad. Okay. Because what? Because of the hope. That is what that is being deferred. All right." But 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 uh, but uh, carnally that is but but uh, what spiritually there's nothing being deferred right now, okay? There's nothing that is being prolonged. Uh, that's the mentality of what of, of uh, two thirds of you Negroes, Hispanics, Native Americans, two thirds of Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, they have that kind of mentality that everything is just, just taking too long. I don't have that time to wait. All uh, right, they want it now. Okay, they, they have an, uh, a mentality of what of uh, of of Edomites. Okay. Like the song says, what I want it now, I want it now. That's the kind of a mentality that two thirds have right now. Okay. What's the point of receiving the kingdom without without our suffering first? What's the purpose of receiving the good without going through hell? Okay. So so when the good comes, you're gonna be you're gonna be able to appreciate it much more. All right. This is our First Peter three verse ten says, for he. So like if it's Peter chapter three verse twenty or ten, so like it. This is alright. This is second Pe first Peter chapter three verse twenty says, which you know what? You know what? Let me start in ninety cents. But which also, wait a minute. Let me jump up. Yep. Uh, First Peter three and eighteen. The point is at twenty. Started started at verse eighteen. Says, for Hamashiach also have once suffered for saints, the just, for the unjust. Uh, meaning what? For the sake of the two thirds, the elect are gonna have to go through all of that madness in order for in the long run, for the whole nation to, to start what well, to benefit to reap the good our uh, promises of Yahweh Shemesh. Okay. Just like just like the the most I say what well, started with uh, with Abraham Isaac and Jacob, uh, ultimately the the benefit was unto what unto the whole the seed, okay the chosen lineage which is was to come the whole nation, 
which is, which is what's to come. So the same thing, the sacrifices that Yahweh Shah made, that, that, that are the sacrifice, the elect that are the ones who are making that, that, are, that are the exact same sacrifice. Uh, it says the just, uh, 1 Peter 3 and 18 says, For the just, it's like a full Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah also have one suffered for sins. Go back to what Matthew 1 and 21 to die for the sins of his people to redeem them. Or oh, I said the just for the unjust uh, that he might bring us to the most high, being put to death in the flesh, but quickened by the spirit. All right, Ephesians, okay, we are now we are, we are now being resuscitated. Okay, we have been quickened. All right, it says about which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. All right. It doesn't mean you gotta be in a physical prison right now. Uh, it means it means what? Like it says in the Book of Psalms, I believe in seventy five, says the Most High out of heaven. Okay, he's open uh, the eyes of the prisoners, so to speak. I'm not. I'm not a. You know, let me just try to get that scripture in the Book of Psalms. All right. Real quick. Alright, this is a book of Psalms. Alright, one oh it's like your Psalms one oh eight. You know what Psalms one oh one forty six I believe. Let me just get that one first. This is Psalms 146, verse uh, 7. Alright. Instead of verse 6, this is Psalms 146. Verse 6 says, uh, Which made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that therein is, which keepeth uh, true forever, which executeth judgment for the oppressed, which giveth food to the hungry, the Lord looseneth uh, the prisoner, the Lord openeth the eyes. Of the blind, the Lord uh, raiseth them that are bowed down. The Lord loveth the righteous. All right. Okay, that's the point. All right. That's why it says also in Psalms 102, verse uh, I believe verse 20 says what it says uh it says uh, it says uh, to hear the groaning of what of the prisoners, uh to loose uh those that are appointed to death. Okay, the exact, the exact same thing is happening right now. All right, this is this is a First Peter three nineteen says, by which also he went and preached unto the spirits in prison. All right, it says uh, we still in prison. It says going back to book of uh, Isaiah it says what? It says that this is a people snared in holes and in prison houses. Okay, <laughs> it says uh, Psalm Salakia. This is a uh, First Peter three verse twenty says, which sometimes were disobedient. When once the long suffering power waited in the days of Noah, okay, he's what is long suffering because the Most High has his own time. All right, just like we before, before we possessed the land, he was keep saying till to, to, uh, the iniquity of, of such and of, of uh, such and such a nation be fulfilled. All right, the Most High deals with time. Everything has been measured in a balance. Okay. Uh, everything has been, has been uh, scaled down to every uh, sing, single uh, uh, milliseconds of everything has been what has been measured by Yahweh Shemasha. He doesn't move, no, no, do anything until exactly what is he is uh, determined uh, to come to pass. So we know this for a fact. We want to get that reward. Uh, the hope uh, that is deferred right now, hey, it makes the heart sick. Okay. But, but that's a part of the, the, the what? The things that are written therein. Okay, lamentation, woe. Okay, let me just get that one. Before, before I go to the Ezekiel, let me finish off. Here it says, uh, which sometimes were disobedient when once the long sovereign power waited in the days of Noah while the ark was uh, preparing, where with a uh, few, that is, eight souls, were saved by water. Alright, the same thing is happening right now. 
okay and the spiritual lock is what is this truth being being clothed okay with with the doctrine the sound doctrine of Yahweh Hashim Yahweh Shai okay so Ezekiel no, I'll say Ezekiel because our heart is sick right now okay our hearts our, are sick okay that's why Yahweh Shai said that's why Yahweh Shai says, says hey, I'm sorrowful I'm sorrowful even unto uh, unto death okay same, the same thing is happening uh, on, on, unto, unto the whole full elect. Uh, we've been sorrowful because uh, uh, this is not the kingdom. Uh, this place is filthy. You got transgenders. Uh, you got you got homosexuals. These guys have been elevated in the society. Everything that that that, that, that is against the holy scriptures is being promoted in the society. Okay. So that, therefore, look, men, our hearts are sick. Okay. As Ezekiel 2 and 10 says, and he, and he spread it, you know, Ezekiel 2 and 9 says, And when I looked, behold, a hand was sent unto me, and lo, a roll of a book was therein. And he spread it before me, and it was written within and without, and there was written therein lamentations and mourning and woe. I that's why the scripture says this in the book of Ecclesiastes 7 7 let me get that one this is Ecclesiastes 7 verse 7 okay this is Ecclesiastes 7 verse 7 oh, it says a surely oppression maketh the wise man mad and a gift destroyeth the heart okay it says surely okay meaning what Doubtless, no matter what happens, this is going to be the situation. Okay, this is going to be the situation, irregardless whatever anybody may say. All right. That's eighteen. Looks like it's not eighteen. Another precept. All right, it's Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes, I believe, is the second chapter or the third chapter, and eighteen. Uh, it says about the exact same thing, so to speak. This is Ecclesiastes 8. Yeah, it's verse 5, so like here. Let me just go to the point. Uh, Ecclesiastes 4 and 8. like anyway let me just go back to this uh, these few precepts okay second peters okay because uh, it speaks about the hope that has been deferred making the heart what a heart sick okay it makes what the heart sick but at the end okay that reward is gonna be what it's gonna be it's gonna be likened unto a tree okay a, t a leaving tree okay does it because because two-thirds of you Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you don't have that kind of mentality, okay? Your hope is, is far, you know, you don't have no hope. You don't have no faith in, in Yahweh, Hashim, Yahweh, Shai. There's a second piece, right? 3 verse 4. They don't see, they don't see the retaining of Yahweh, Shai, Mashiach. They, live in, they are not even bothered by that, all of that. This is the second Peter 3 and 4 says, And saying, Where is the promise of his coming? Since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. And that's not, that's not, that's not the case. Uh, that's not the case. These are some of the things that makes our heart, but that's make our heart so sick. Okay. These are the, some of the things that makes our heart so sick. Because uh, we... Here it is. We see what's happening right now. These prophecies are coming to pass, all right. But you, you got, you got your amongst our own. We got, got, we, we got, got them fucking assholes who don't see what's coming. Okay, who don't see what's coming right now. In in their eyes, hey, this ain't no, everything is normal. There's nothing wrong with this society, but there is every single thing is wrong with, in this place. Okay, from women, children, relationship between men and women the relationship between parents and children okay men and nature 
everything is, is out of harmony okay and that is a goddamn fucking problem this is Habakkuk 2 uh, because because two-thirds can can never be able to stand upon upon their watch and upon the tower okay they can't able to do that going back to the Psalms the first chapter it says the ungodly they will not sit at the table of the righteous so to speak okay this is Habakkuk 2 and 2 says and the Lord answered me and said write the vision and make it plain upon the tables that he may run that readeth it it says of for the vision is yet for an appointed time but at the end it shall speak and not lie though it tarry wait for it is because it shall surely it is because it will surely come it will not tarry all right it will not tarry we see these things happening the implementation there we see the prophets of the rfid ship the mark of the beast okay being introduced okay on a global scale right now okay all these nations men they they're all gearing up to world war three the, the diverse earthquakes we see them happening okay man famine that is on its way trout that is on an increase okay these different uh, tariff wars these currency wars that we see they're going to lead into these other nations man all the economy crashing uh the elites are trying to uh, implement what well, uh the new global uh currency the rfid chip the mark of the beast okay of which is not going to stand the new world order will not stand because Yahweh Shemesh is, is not done with that with that filth okay and we see all these things our, our hope is in is in the name of Yahweh Shemesh okay he's going to deliver us he's the that's the only way we have out of this place that's the only place hey the only place for, for high for of our hiding is under the wings of the almighty Yahweh Shemesh there's no other way around it okay there's no other way around all of that there's one there's one route one way all right but two-thirds of you Negroes Hispanics Native Americans Native Americans and, you, and those of you who've been dispersed across the diaspora guess what man the most high is not dealing with you he's only looking for his elect all right because right now this the vision is speaking right now Okay, it is speaking right now. The way it has gone out. Okay, we are in the middle of World War Three right now. Okay, we are in the middle of it right now. You don't see it. You're gonna actually start seeing what when the actual physical missiles, missile, missiles, intercontinent, intercontinental, uh, ballistic missiles. They when they start uh, being shot from one end of the earth to another. Okay, then will you believe it? But it's gonna be too late. All right. it's gonna be too late for for a lot of you. All right, it's already too late for two thirds, man. The most size has already spoken. All right, two thirds shall be cut off. Okay, a remnant shall return. Okay, always a remnant will always return. Out of all these different captivity, there's nothing different in our lifetime. There's nothing different from all what has been happening. Okay, the difference is what. This is it. Okay, after this place goes down then shall the kingdom of heaven come okay this uh acts one let me close off this uh, act chapter one come on this is uh, the book of acts chapter one verse 21 Salakia, this is a Romans Salakia. What the hell is going on here? Acts chapter 1 verse uh, 6 all right it says when therefore uh, 
we come together, they ask of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Uh, this part of our main hope right now. Okay, for the kingdom to restore unto Israel. Uh, it says, hope, Proverbs 13 and 12 says, what? A hope deferred maketh the heart sick. But when the desire cometh, the kingdom, Acts 1 and 6, the kingdom to be restored to Israel. Okay, it says what? It is the tree of life. Going to Revelation 2, what is that, 21 or 22? Or, hey, this is the only hope we have in this place. Okay. There's no other uh, avenue for us to go except to come back to, 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 uh, to the rock. Okay. To the stone whence we were hewn. Uh, stop light, uh, lightly uh, esteeming the rock of our salvation. Without all praises be unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rakakatash, the one who unto the elder apostles of Great Moslem, Shalom, Susan Siakia, the whole full elect, righteous remnant, returning unto Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Shalom.